Are you just getting started raising quail or maybe you're looking to add to an existing flock but you're wondering where do I get the quail eggs or where do I get the live birds to start with? That's what we're going to get cleared up for you today so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to go about it. Before I get into the topic of today's video though, I need to take a moment and take care of the sponsor that made this video possible, and that is Kansas City Quail Farms, located in, well, you guessed it, Kansas City, Missouri. Dave over there at Kansas City Quail Farms is a great guy and carries a variety of Caternix quail. Um, all of his bloodlines have originated from James Marie Farms. If you've been in quail circles for any time at all, you probably are familiar or have at least heard of the JMF Meat Makers, and that's what my birds are right here behind me, my jump which you've probably seen plenty of times before in other um, videos. But he also carries a variety of other Caternix quail, um, some very unique breeds. The, the, you know, the, the things that you see all the time, like the Tibetan um, tuxedos, specialized bloodlines there. He carries a kind of a unique newer bird that's a Schofield Silver. And that's a really cool bird. I've got a couple of them in the brooder box, which we'll take you in and show you here in just a few minutes. But very cool. It's a uh, silver bird. It originated in Canada and has just been brought over. And they get really close to a jumbo size. Not quite consistent enough to be considered a jumbo bird, but very, very close. But have a really cool kind of silver color to them. So if you're looking for like some jumbo birds with some color that aren't just the standard browns or the all whites, then that's something that you might want to be able to look into in the future. And I'll take you in, like I said, and show you some of that. Um, he also carries the extremely rare Celadon egg layers, which if you looked at my last video on the blue-green quail eggs, that's what those are. So that's a cool place where you can get some of those birds and have some uh, kind of Easter egg layer kind of birds, but in a Caternix quail. So pretty neat stuff right there. Dave's a great guy. If you have questions, he's going to be more than happy to answer them for you. And if you're looking for other game birds, things like gamble quail or um, you know maybe valley quail, I think he carries some valley quail right now. And he also carries chuckars, and he's adding new kinds of game birds on all the time. So it's a great place to go if you're looking for Caternix quail, gamble quail, any of those other kinds of game birds. Check them out. There'll be a description in the box below. Stick around to the end of this video for a special offer just from Dave at Kansas City Quail Farms. Okay, let's get into the topic of today's video. So, First of all, which do you want to start off with, live birds or eggs? Well, there's benefits to both. Let's talk about live birds first. Why might you want to start off with live birds if you're just starting off with quail? Well, a few benefits to starting off with live birds is you kind of get up to speed a little bit quicker. So you don't have to wait to incubate your eggs, hatch them out, grow them up to 8 to 12 weeks old before they start producing eggs for you. You can get uh, younger birds that are a couple of days old or maybe a week old for fairly cheap and they'll start laying eggs pretty quick and you're going to get up there a lot quicker. You don't have to worry about if you've never incubated before. It can be a little bit intimidating the first time or two so you don't have to worry about doing that right off the bat. You can just start off with live birds, have a little bit more success that way possibly. So there's a couple of reasons why you might want to get live birds but where do you get them from? Well, if you live close enough to Kansas City, you can just drive over to Kansas City Quail Farms and pick up live birds, because he does sell live birds, and you're going to get some great birds that way. Typically, you're not going to be able to ship live birds. There are people that will do that, but I highly discourage you from ordering birds live and having them shipped in. It tends to stress the birds out. It tends to stunt their growth over the, uh, growth, excuse me, over the long period, so it's really not the best practice to ship birds. Sometimes older birds will ship okay, uh, but still it's just really not a great practice. Now if you don't live close enough to Kansas City to get live birds from Kansas City Quail Farm, then look in your local area. Look on Craigslist, look for a local poultry swap, um, some of those kinds of things. The only problem with that, it's not really a problem, but the only thing to consider with that is you're probably not going to get specialized bloodlines like JMF meat makers or good jumbo birds. You're probably going to get mutts that are more like a mix, standard birds. And there's nothing wrong with that. You get some cool color combinations in that, you get some pretty birds out of that, but they tend to not be as big, produce as big of eggs, or produce as regularly and reliably as your specialized bloodlines do when you get them from a reputable breeder like Kansas City Quail Farms. Okay, so why would you want to start with eggs? You know, there's a couple of benefits to starting with eggs, actually. And if you're concerned about the incubation process, I have a whole series of videos on incubating eggs 
Watch those videos. It'll tell you everything that you need to know to incubate your eggs successfully and have a good hatch rate so you can get over that intimidation factor. But to start with eggs means that you are growing out your first run of meat birds and your future breeders at the same time. Because you're usually going to order a fairly large uh, box of eggs, 100 eggs, 120 eggs, something like that. So you get all your birds that are going to be both future breeders and then all your extra roosters at least and maybe some of your hens that you don't need become your first meat birds and you do them at the same time. You don't have to wait for your birds if you bought live birds to get up to laying age, lay eggs, wait for them to start laying fertile eggs, incubate those eggs, hatch those out, and then grow them up before you have a meat run of birds. So in a lot of ways you can kind of get started, even though I shouldn't say you get started a little quicker, but you get uh, quicker progress or you know, faster progress, I think, in ways by starting with eggs. The other thing that's great about starting with eggs is you can order them from a reputable breeder that has specialized in certain bloodlines, so you get very specialized birds, like JMF Meat Makers, Jumbo Farrow that produce great big eggs, whatever, but you're gonna get a specialized bird instead of a mutt that's not really sure what you're gonna get out of it. So there are some real benefits to ordering um, eggs and starting off with eggs that you've ordered in. Now, let's talk about what to look for if you're ordering eggs. First of all, and most important, is you want to make sure that you get a breeder that is NPIP certified. Now, that stands for National Poultry Improvement Plan, which was a program that was started back in, I think it was in the 1950s, I believe, and it was started to kind of help alleviate disease and things in backyard flocks when people are selling birds. It's actually a requirement, I believe, if you are going to sell eggs across state lines to be NPIP certified. So it's important that you do look for a breeder that is that. Now, what that does is that um, basically if a, if a breeder is NPIP certified, that means that they have... Um, they, they, they have their birds tested at least once a year, sometimes twice a year. It kind of depends on a couple of things there. But they're tested for things like um, avian influenza, you know, bird flu. Um, oh, there's a few others that I've written down. But basically what it means is that you're not going to have to worry about disease in those birds. Second thing you want to look for in a breeder is make sure you get somebody that is established, that has been doing this for a while, not somebody that just bought some quail, had some eggs, and then threw them up on eBay for sale. They're just set up to be able to handle those orders a little bit better. They've been doing it for a while. They've got some track record with people that have uh, good reviews for them. Uh, people have had very good success with it. So if you do have a bad hatch rate, you can kind of narrow that down to, uh, well, maybe it was my problem. Maybe it wasn't the breeder's problem because everybody else is having great hatch rates with that, and you're going to get support. That's one thing I really like about Dave from uh, Kansas City Quail Farms. He knows his stuff. He understands the genetics. He understands um, eggs, uh, how to... Uh, how to handle those, how to store them, how to ship them so that they get to you in the best possible condition. And if you have questions, he's going to be able to answer all of those questions for you and get everything cleared up for you. He's not just going to ship you a bunch of eggs and then just leave you high and dry. So that's another reason to order from a reputable breeder. Let's go take a look at a couple of birds I've got. I've got some cool birds in there that I think are going to be really fun to, to watch grow out. So let's go take a look at those. All right, so this is one of my brooder boxes here with some of my birds that have hatched out. And I've got kind of a mix of birds in these. Um, I've got Jumbo Pharaoh, which are uh, very similar to the uh, Jumbo Meat Makers, but they're bred more for egg production. They lay the uh, biggest eggs on average of any of the quail, but they're going to have that standard kind of brown uh, quail, kind of natural quail look. Um, I've got some uh, Tibetan tuxedos, which are the ones that are going to have the uh, brown backs, usually um, white faces, white chest, look like they're wearing a tuxedo. But the ones I'm really excited about in here are these uh, Schofield Silver. And let me get a let me get one of these guys here and show you what they look like. So look at that, a pretty cool little bird here. And I don't know how well that's showing up on camera. I don't have great lighting in here, but uh, you know, not like a white bird. I mean, they kind of have that yellowish color to them, but just a little bit of a silvery kind of uh, tinge to them. So I think they're going to be very pretty birds, and pretty good size birds so far. I mean, these guys are only about four days old and already getting pretty big. And uh, you can see with let me get one of the other ones here. Look at this guy right here. Look at that guy, starting to grow out white wings, black back. Very cool looking little bird. Now a couple of these birds in here came out of uh, celadon eggs, those blue green eggs. So there's a chance I'll get some celadon layers out of this. And there's a, there's a good color. Um, I don't, again, I don't know how well that's showing up on film, but you can see that silver kind of color that's starting to come in as they're feathering out. 
Very cool. It's going to be neat to see these guys kind of grow out as they go. And look at the size of some of these guys. I mean, this is a four-day-old bird right here. Four days old and already that size. Nice, big birds and uh, just healthy as can be. I haven't lost a single one in this brooder box. They've done, or any of my brooder boxes actually, they've done just fantastic so far. So as you can see, I've got some cool birds in there. It's going to be really neat to watch these guys grow out. So stick around my channel for upcoming videos and you'll get to see some other shots as these guys get a little bit bigger and start to feather out. I'm really excited to see especially those Schofield Silver. That's something totally new to me, never seen before. And hopefully I get a couple of uh, Celadon egg layers out of this bunch as well. That'll be something neat to see as well. So I told you, stick around to the end of this video and there's something special in here. Dave has generally off generously offered a discount to my viewers on all Caternix quail egg orders. Now it's for a limited time, there is a link below. When you click on that, if it takes you to a page that says, use this discount code to get the discount, you know that you've made it in time. But it is a limited time deal, so if you click on that link and it just takes you to an order page to order eggs from, well, you might have missed out on it. But hey, still a great place to order eggs from. You're going to get great eggs. You're going to get great service after the sale. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have questions, concerns, uh, what your experience is. And as always, God bless.